Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Today we are doing a free people haul. I am really excited for this because it's been such a long time since I've done one and I love free people. Not everything that they have fits my personal style, but I can definitely find pieces here and there that I love, especially their basics. They have some really good basics. So I picked up a range of different items for this haul, like bralettes, sweaters, basics, and some really great outerwear too. So let's just go ahead and dive on into it. So I'm gonna start out with two bralette and crop tanks that I picked up. The first is this crop tank top. I can already tell that this is gonna be a staple of mine. The fit of this is just impeccable. It is seamless, yet it is really soft. And what I love about this seamless construction is that it compresses you in, so it does provide a little bit of support. This is not a top that I have to wear a bra with, which I really like, but it still gives me all that support that I love if I was wearing a bra. So this, I can already tell, is one of those items that I'm I'm be wearing on the daily even now in winter it's something I can wear around the house when I'm working from home but of course when summer hits this is going to be just an everyday piece it's great to wear on its own but of course to like layer with it if you want to throw any sort of shirt jacket flannel zip up hoodie or anything like that over it it is just so cute I got this in a size extra small and love that size on me and this comes in like a million different colors so this is definitely an item that I need to stock up on so the next item up is this really cute bralettes okay so when I ordered this I didn't realize the type of fabric that it was but to me it feels so closely related to the lululemon like a cloud or like the new lu fabric but just a little bit more lighter weight it feels so amazing and it's just so comfortable on the front of it has these little seam cup detailing that doesn't really do a thing for me but I think that it's really cute and the back of it has this little cutout detail as well I think it's just the little details in this that make it so cute Cute. and then of course the straps are adjustable as well which we all love the straps are really soft so they don't dig in at all I got this in a size extra small which is a really great size for me but otherwise like I said it's really lightweight so it's gonna be one of those easy pieces that I can wear around the house but it could also be a really great layering piece if you want to throw something on over top of it too okay so the next item is this sweater vest I had a feeling I was gonna love this and that feeling oh is so accurate it is an amazing sweater vest let me explain why I love it so first of all with the shoulders I love the way that it kind of like hangs off of my shoulders but it's still like a tank top and it comes in this really thick sweater like material that has a wooly texture to it so it's like nice and thick it keeps you warm but it's not itchy at all you guys know how I feel about itchy sweaters and the length of this is such perfection I love where it hits on me and for some reason finding a sweater in this length is like really challenging and hard but during the try on of this I did wear the previous bralette that I just showed you underneath of this because the underarms have such a wide opening that you can see through it so it would be really cute to wear a bralette underneath of it if you want to make this sweater just super sexy definitely don't wear a bralette underneath of it maybe just wear like some pasties or something if you want to wear this out with like some leather skinny pants and some booties that would be really cute as well or this would look absolutely amazing if you layered a long sleeve underneath it any sort of long sleeve really like it can be a ribbed long sleeve t-shirt it can be a button-up shirt too I I think the ways that you can wear this is truly endless size is extra small the color of this is just gorgeous it's like a black charcoal gray sort of color this is just hands down one of my favorite items from this haul love it next up is this mock neck long sleeve shirt this is one of those basics that I'm talking about I love this and it's only $30 I feel like free people always has like I mentioned yes the best basics but it's at a really good price point too it's usually between like that 20 to $40 range you know so a few things off the bat of why I really enjoy this I love the mock neck yet the mock neck is stretchy so it's really easy to get on over your head there's nothing I hate more than a tight mock neck where after you're done doing your makeup and you try to like put on your shirt it's like impossible to get it over without trying to mess up your makeup you know it's a semi wide rib detail throughout I love like my rib tops it is stretchy which is really good yet it's still like form-fitting to your body the sleeves are a good length for being petite which we love to see and the cuff detailing is a little bit longer and extended so the seam of the cuff actually ends right here which I just think is like a really cool like unique detail to a very basic shirt the length of it is really good too really easy to tuck into things if you wanted to but you don't have to tuck it in of course if that's not your style it's also thick enough where I don't feel like it makes it see-through but of course this is black so I can't speak to white but it's still like a really comfy soft long sleeve too which we love 
So this next one is such a unique one that I absolutely needed to try out. So it is an off the shoulder top, but it has like this very unique fabric that feels kind of like a sweater, but it's more lightweight, but it's so incredibly soft. You guys need to get this just to feel the fabric. It feels so comfy against your body. Why I was so drawn to this top is because I feel like it's a dressier type of top, but it can still keep you pretty casual because it looks like a sweater material. And I absolutely love that. This is the type of tops that I'm totally missing in my wardrobe currently. You can see on the front that it has kind of like this crisscross layered fabric detail. This is so necessary for this top because like without it, it actually could get a little bit see-through. So I love that this makes it not see-through because this is a type of top that I'm not wearing a bra with. Of course, you can wear some sort of like strapless bra with it and you'd be totally fine. And of course, the placement of where you want to put these on your shoulders is totally flexible. You could put it all the way up on your shoulders if you wanted to. You can kind of like have it semi hanging off your shoulders or have it completely completely off the shoulders too. And then the sleeves on these are a little crazy long on me, but that is nothing new. I can always go get it like hemmed up a little bit if I wanted to. So a super fun top. So next up, I got this cashmere sweater hoodie. Oh, I love this. I'm really pleasantly surprised in the color of this too. It looked a lot, what, more yellow and golden online and in person, it definitely doesn't look like that. I feel like it's a lot more muted and neutral, which I really like. You guys know I love my sweatshirts. I have like a million and five sweatshirts. So I love when I can combine a sweatshirt with a sweater. Even though this is super oversized and like a boyfriend fit to it, even if I pair it with jeans, which you'll see in my try on. I feel like it doesn't make it look too casual as if I paired it with like a standard sweatshirt. You know what I mean? I also showed a second way that I would wear this during the try on more as like a tunic slash dress. It's long enough for me to do it this way, but I could always pair like my four inch aligned shorts underneath it just in case. But I love the knee high boots I paired with it too. That is exactly the two ways that I would wear this. And then of course you can see during the try on all of like the raw stitching throughout, like on the sides and on the hood as well. I'm just such a sucker for details. But yeah, just a really great lightweight sweater and it's 100% cashmere and it's on sale too. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. So next up, we're getting in to jackets and pullovers and just like some outerwear. So the very first item up is this half zip fleece pullover. I am so obsessed with this. I was immediately drawn to it just because of the colors. I love the color blocking tones on this and the reflective details that it has on it too. So this is actually part of like their movement collection, which is like their activewear line, a part of free people. So this is designed to keep you really cozy to and from workouts and really anything in between. It actually might be really great for cycling too, because on the back of it, it has this large zip pocket. I feel like when people cycle, they love to have like back pockets to keep things and store things in. But for me, it's just like a super easy half zip to throw on, has plenty of room to just make it look super effortless on. It has a semi cropped look to it. I just really like like where it hits on my body. Fits pretty true to size to me. I got this in a size extra small. So if you want it to look how it does on me, I would say go true to size or if you wanted it more fitted, definitely size down. The fleece on this is pretty lightweight too, which I love because I feel like all the other fleece half zips that I have is like pretty bulky and it surprisingly keeps you still really warm too. So I'm so obsessed with this and this comes in a few colors as well. Oh my god. I am so excited to share with you guys this next jacket. So it is a moto style jacket. <sighs> There's something about this jacket. I just feel like such a badass when I wear it, yet just so confident in it too. I don't know what it is about this jacket, but I am just beyond in love and obsessed with this. I feel like it just looks so effortless on. It's definitely really oversized on me, but I really like that look on me. Again, I got this in a size extra small. So depending on how you want it to look on you, I would perhaps size down. I would say that this runs pretty big. So if I could size down, I absolutely would try that at least, but I like that I could pair any sort of sweatshirt or hoodie underneath this and I still have like plenty of room. Usually in these type of jackets, I've gotten these from like Zara and stuff in the past, the ones that are kind of like mixed with a leather or even like a faux leather. I feel like all the details that they add on these jackets, like the zippers and the belted wrap and all like that sort of stuff, it just makes it so heavy that it hangs weird. But on this one, it's not like that at all. All these details are actually really lightweight. So I'm very, very happy about that. And this belt, it's actually a very usable and adjustable belt. So that was a happy surprise. These pockets are all real too. And then the inside of this is fully lined. And of course, just love the black. I feel like that just makes it look like way more elevated too. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Okay. So next up is another fleece jacket. You guys, free people is killing it. I am 
so 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 pleasantly surprised about how many just winners I found in this haul so let's get into it because I freaking love this jacket so first of all the color I know it's in pine green but I'm so drawn to it and I love it so much which is so wild for me because you guys know how much I love my neutrals but something about this especially if you pair it with activewear or anything oh I don't know it's sitting well with me and I love it so as I've pretty much been stating throughout free people runs extremely large I got this in a size extra small and this jacket is is meant to be oversized and big so I actually really like the way that it looks on me again however if you didn't want it to look so oversized I would definitely recommend sizing down in this but I love how the sleeves are really roomy and there's room in the body overall because similar to the last one I can definitely pair different types of sweatshirts and hoodies underneath this just perfectly fine it has a detachable hood which I love and it has all buttons going down so no zipper detailing there's usable pockets on the side of it and inside of this you guys it is so soft it is actually lined with a soft cotton jersey material so I love this there's no cinchable waist on this however love the length of it and how it just sits weirdly enough it just works really well without there being any cinchable waistband so for the outer layer of this I did mention that it is obviously like a Sherpa fleece but it also is mixed with this other material that is waterproof too I just kind of like like the mixed detail here so next up is this duvet jacket which first of all i love the name of it because a duvet makes me think i'm wearing a blanket and who doesn't really want to wear a blanket especially in the winter time i got this in a size extra small and also in the sage color like a sage green but like really light toned it comes in multiple colors as well this definitely has a very relaxed slouchy look to it a lot more oversized than the other two jackets that i shared with you so this one definitely runs very large so pretty much the same sentiment that i've said with the other jackets if you want it to be like a little bit more fitted and not so slouchy and relaxed and oversized definitely size down in these maybe a size or two but for some reason I am really really digging this jacket on me I don't know what it is which is like super oversized jackets this season but it's just been totally my vibe something that I really like about this jacket too is that it's more of like a lightweight puffer jacket like it doesn't feel it has like a ton of puff in it in comparison to my other <laughs> millions of puff jackets that I have so this is a really nice variation if I don't need like a lot of warmth in my puffer jackets but I still want to wear a puffer jacket if you know what I mean this doesn't have a hood on it at all so this is an item I kind of have to think about because for me living in Seattle you guys know I deal with a lot of rain so having a hood or at least a detachable hood is something that is just kind of a necessity for me and my jackets so if I kept this I feel like I would be very limited in the days that I could wear it in the winter time or in the fall to just like those sunny cold days you know what I mean but anyways it's definitely a super cute jacket it's fully lined and the inside it has this great zipper detail and then the pockets is actually twofold there's like a pocket on the side but then also there's button deep pockets in the front too but yeah I really like this jacket and I feel like it's really great quality too all right you guys we've made it to the end I am so in love with these pieces I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video too let me know down below what item was your favorite and if you plan on picking up any of these items as well of course as I always do everything that I mentioned will be linked down in the description the item the color name the size the link to the item as well and then my measurements are always down there as well as a reference for you guys before you go please make sure that you like this video you are subscribed and go give me a follow over on instagram at i am carissa renee i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you mm -hmm.